Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our BMW X1. Then I'll take you for a ride in it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a two litre petrol X-Line Auto X-Drive. 2017 on a 17 plate. Has done 19,996 miles at the moment. MOT till the 18th of the 1st, 2023. Fuel economy. Urban, 37.2 miles per gallon. Extra urban, 50.4 miles per gallon. And combined is 44.8 miles per gallon. Has a 0-60 time of 7.4 seconds. A top speed of 139 miles per hour. Out of a four-cylinder, 189 brake horsepower, 16 valve engine. So first thing, it hasn't got privacy glass. I think it's so much better for not having privacy glass. I, I think it looks really, really classy. Um, we've got the chrome window surrounds. We've got the aluminium roof bars on here. Power folding door mirrors. The X-Drive two litre badges. Then these kind of snowflake design alloy wheels. The dark silver and diamond cut. Beautiful looking wheels, uh, I, I think. So we've got front parking sensors just at the bottom there, LED running lights, the low chin spoiler, the nice BMW grille before it got those kind of lit implants that people have these days and, and made it the whole front of the car. So there's plastic wheel arch protectors and also this sill protector here. Nice styling. I, I, I think this car is uh, pretty discreet and, and good looking. Got the shark fin roof aerial, rear spoiler, power open, tailgate, and you can adjust how high up the tailgate goes from the inside from the iDrive, which is handy because I kept banging my head on it and I only discovered it before when I was looking for the service history. Nice low loading area. The boot floor is raised in this particular car, only, only slightly. And the reason for that is the previous owner has bought a full-size spare wheel for this vehicle. Normally you'd just get either a run flat or a, a compressor and some gunk to shoot in your tyre. Um, so that, that's it, full-size alloy wheel. A, a lot of people these days want one and they're, they're not content with the, the little uh, compressor. It's got the heavy duty floor mat. There's two little switches here. Uh, we switch that one. It just flicks the seat down in the back, saves you going round and pulling that handle and so on. And uh, it's, it's, it's well thought out. We've also got a power socket in the back there, uh, which again is a handy, it's something I really miss because I've always got something on charge. And if there isn't a power socket in the boot, um, <laughs> Well, you end up with it on the front seat, whatever it is, whether it's a compressor or, or a, I don't know, a diagnostic machine or something. But anyway, so that's a good idea as well. There's a switch for the power close. Rear parking sensors, then this kind of diffuser stroke scuff plate in, in the centre, departure angle scuff plate. Now, I'm not sure why, but if you just press that back up there it only goes to that position perhaps it's just to give you a little bit more room in in the boots without having the seats fully forward or, or you know to stop you <laughs> whatever you're carrying flying forward when you break but you have to pull this little tag there to put it all the way back being careful to keep my feet on the mats because this car is absolutely mint uh, it, it, it's like brand new it really is very surprised if anybody had sat on these uh, in, in the back here on the seats plenty of headroom the the roof linings made of lovely material too these airbags in the a pillar the b pillar uh, the c pillar and the other the third inertia real seat belt comes out of the roof there um, just get that back. Isofix rear child seat tank points. Rear armrest. There we go. We've got two cup holders. It's it's lovely. It's got the 
factory over mats, these parcel nets on the back of the seats here, the, the, the like cutouts in the back of the seat to give you more knee room. And, and this oyster, I think it is, oyster leather, uh, or the colour is oyster leather, and it's got contrast stitching. So as I say, I mean, sat in here, it just looks like a brand new car. Just, you, you could be in the showroom and it, and it, and it is lovely. Uh, again, these piano black insets to the dash, the uh, door cards and the gear tunnel. It's, it's a lovely vehicle. Now I had my seat there where I would normally drive, which is quite a long way back and there was still quite a lot of leg room in the back of the BM. So that, that's kind of made up of, of the seating position and the high roof. You, uh, rather than having your legs stretched out in front of you, they, they go straight down and not uncomfortable. I forgot to show you under the bonnet. So it's a bonnet release and it's with a safety catch. So you have to pull the bonnet release twice to get the, the bonnet up. You just pull it once, it, you're not gonna do it. And there you go, it just comes straight up there so there's no catch to fiddle around with. That, that's quite a good design. Although, if I'm honest, I'd prefer the safety catch under the bonnet and uh, <laughs> at, at least I know it's there. Anyway, engine's lovely. And even though Lance has cleaned this, the car's a credit to its previous owner. It's been kept very, very nice, um, well looked after. Okay, let's go for a ride. That's the BMW key there, so it's keyless go, foot on the brake, there's the switch, I'll we'll just turn that down. Put the nav on. Right, here we go, service history. 16 to 4, 2019. 12,846 miles sitting in the BMW. 16th to 12th, 2019 at 16,899 miles sitting in the BMW. 16th to the 3rd, 2020 at 17,325 miles sitting in the BMW. 4th to the 3rd, 2021 at 19,115 miles sitting in the BMW. 15th to the 4th, 2021 at 19,200. 86 miles sitting in the BMW um, and it's done 19,996 miles at the moment. So off we go. Now <laughs> I'm supposedly going on holiday next week, next Monday, and as usual whenever I go on holiday things go absolutely mad and uh, poor old John's running around like I don't know what but the week before so am I. Um, this morning, two of my GoPros won't switch on. <laughs> that one, <laughs> I couldn't see the picture, so I don't know whether it's recording or not. Um, I've had to switch this Insta camera on, which is a 360 camera. That keeps switching off on its own. I don't know what's happened, whether there's been an update on uh, iPhones overnight, uh, but anyway, it's all, all gone to pot this morning. I've had to replace the, the camera up on the window with this, uh, with my DJI. So you'll have to bear with me for this video. Um, back to the car. Lovely car. Um, suspension's not too hard, not too wallowy. It's, uh, it's just certainly just right on these country roads and on the motorway coming up it, it was it was brilliant We've got power folding door mirrors automatic knock the gear selector over like so change down knocking away from you like so and up pulling towards you alternatively you can use a paddle shift on the steering wheel 
it's a uh, it's nice a sporty feel to it but not too bad you've got this programmable you've got these these modes here you've got eco pro there there you go um, that's changed the dash here and it shows me how much fuel I've regained or, or not regained how much fuel I've gained um, over and above what I would normally get in, by using the eco pro mode the moment it's saying 0.4 miles there's a gauge there um, which you can get to through the dash it's uh, just showing blue at the moment I'm braking So normally that puts charge back in to the battery. And then as I'm accelerating, there you go, it's it's going down. And I don't actually that display as the gearbox seems to be about face to me. And let's just see if I can get uh, that. Pressing the end here changes your information display. So that's showing the time, um, what gear you're in, how much fuel you have before you need to fill up, outside air temperature, mileometer, and also the trip counter. That's showing average miles per gallon average miles per hour and just get around a certain death corner before we do any more we're okay that one shows the speed limit of the road you're on which I, I always find um, very helpful and just just watch this through here. The the steering, the acceleration with it being a petrol, but the the handling of it for a, a four wheel drive. Benefits from being a petrol, and of course petrol. Uh, I was looking on the internet last night. Uh, petrol's quite a bit cheaper than diesel at the moment, so you know you you go further for your uh, for your money. So from there, that's into comfort. Comfort's where I'd have it all the time. And then you've got sport. Changes the display on the dash shows you what's been altered the throttle certainly seems uh, more responsive so that's as I say that, that's in sport that's, got, that's actually quite pleasant really normally sport just takes it a little bit too far that's not too bad for my style of driving anyway but uh, back to comfort. By the stop start switch, there is also the auto stop start at, at traffic lights and so on, which you can knock off. This, this car is, is, it really is the, the steering wheel, the, you know, there's, there's no wear on it. Um, so the, the steering wheel feels like brand new. Everything is absolutely mint. I can't see any marks on it anywhere and it drives like a new car 20,000 miles you'd have to expect it would so I don't think the door mirrors will go in at this speed but it will just slow up There you go. There's the powerful written door mirrors. The BMW iDrive, it's on nav at the moment. But if we go into we've got menu there, we can turn it down to vehicle information. 
like so, vehicle status, and then that tells you uh, we need well we need air in uh, one of the tyres to start off with, but we'll take it down to service requirements, service requirements. And there you go, service. Got brake fluid, um, time inspection, engine oil, and vehicle check. So we'll do that. And that's the service history. Again, BMW and Mercedes are, are so arrogant. They, uh, the, the things they do like this service history on their car, and there's a number, there's a number of it. That, that means absolutely nothing really. You know it's been serviced, but you don't know who's done it. <laughs> Click on it there, it tells you what's been done. It's a, it's a reasonably good idea, but you know, for the future, um, I mean, I've been in the job long enough to, to remember dealers that have been in business and gone out of business and uh, trying to chase a dealer that's just a number um, it's pretty impossible and, and then you, you ring up BMW to find out who it is and depend on who you get <laughs> they, they may tell you or they may not <laughs> it just depends on their uh, idea of the GDPR rules um, so I often see that chap up here He's, uh, he enjoys his motorbiking, which is great to see. Big smile on his face always. So, back to the car. <laughs> so back to menu there. You've got settings, into settings. Eco Pro mode, so that's, there you go, that's Eco Pro limit. Honestly. While I'm at it, I'm not going to switch it on yet, but who designs seats? Who designs the angle of seats? Who makes it so that if you put anything on a seat at the front, it slides all the way down to the bottom? Like you come out of the fuel station, you put your debit card on the seat, it slides down and goes down the back there, and then, then that's the last you see of it. It's stuck. It, it, you know, who designs seats so that soap stays in the soap dish until you've actually until it's actually wet and then it slides off and goes in the sink all the time it's it it, it amazes me who designs these gopros so that they go off at the most inconvenient moment or the all these these suction grips which cost 30 odd quid and drop off I don't know. Unbelievable. Anyway, it's a good car. <laughs> GoPros and, and stuff like that. Mind you, that's that's an Insta camera and that's a DJI. They, they've all got the they've all got the faults. <laughs> they all they all overheat if the temperature gets above minus five. I've got the aircon on, trying to keep them cool. Anyway, we just missed that pothole there. This has got the big wheels on, and I think actually, yeah, because I was talking to somebody who's, who's got one of these, and he, he loves it. Um, he says it's fantastically economical, but he wanted the. Uh, 
don't think you could get a spare wheel because the 19 inch wheels, I think they've uh, the, the run flat. Um, and I don't think you could get a spare wheel and you can only get that with 18 inch options, I think. So obviously that's why this chap has, uh, was uh, very courteous to that cyclist. Obviously that this is why this chap's bought one uh, probably aftermarket. And it's in a nice bag in the back there. He's done a bit of a DIY, put a couple of buttons along the side to keep the boot floor up. So, instrument display. Left hand side we've got speedo, your information in the center. Rev counter on the right, in the rev counter there is your instantaneous MPG readout which is a waste of time and on the left hand side you've got your fuel gauge in the uh, in the speedo we've got collision warning on this I think so eco pro doors keys climate speed Speed there, set a, a warning. We don't want that. Speed limit assistance, sound. So you can adjust the sound system. Uh, that's uh, that's my adjustment there. It was it was on nothing before. Sound system's great. We've got sat nav, Bluetooth hands-free, Bluetooth audio streaming. I said it's lovely leather. It is really mint, and it it's this perforated design here, kind of shadow perforations the piano black insets aluminium all along the dash there here we've got handbrake your parking sensors a lot of motorbikes out today Now that is coasting. You can feel it. That camera is just overheated. We've got we've got the aircon on full blast. This this week. It was stressful last year before I went away. <laughs> this year, it's even worse. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> it is what it is. Anyway, this, this car, it's, it's lovely. Certainly in comfort, it's a great drive up these country lanes. And some sheep. Coat looks a bit ratty. Go to Yeti there, they've got a great following. We always sell them really, really quickly when we get them in. BMWs, I normally go on about the suspension and how awful I think it is, but this is good. And it, I'm not just saying that because we're selling it either, it, it's, it's okay.
It's amazing how much narrower this road seems when the uh, in the summer when the grass grows out because you can't you can't take any chances on that side because it's mostly full of rock. So if you think, oh, I'll, I'll just knock a bit of fern out of the way, you'll end up losing your front wing. Seats are really comfortable. Nice front centre armrest. There you go, you've got storage space in there. And if I lift that up, there's more storage space underneath. And then there's a, a USB in and also an auxiliary. Height and reach adjustable steering wheel. You've got cruise over this side. I can't actually just see that. So if I click that, cruise control. There you go, cruise control activated. And then I can uh, he looked like he was just gonna launch himself. Obviously knows I've just sat in the cruise control. <laughs> wanted to cock me up. So again. Cruise control activated and I can increase the speed by just knocking that wheel up like so and down like so. So there you go, lovely car, great to drive, absolutely immaculate, it's a petrol as well, I think there's plenty of diesels out there, I'm not so sure about petrol, so if you are a petrol head then, then this is the car for you, and, oh, and also if you're a petrol head and you need four wheel drive, then this is definitely the car for you. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video, bye bye.